Brisk is an amazing AI Chrome extension that you can use to enhance your teaching and boost your students' learning. With Brisk, you can turn any online resource into engaging educational material. For instance, you can use it to create lesson plans, great students' work, create engaging presentations, and many more. Hi, this is Med from Educator Technology. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use Brisk to enhance your teaching. Let's jump right in. So to start using Brisk teaching, the first thing to do is to install the Chrome extension. So once you add the Chrome extension, now we will start exploring the different activities that we can do using Brisk teaching. And the first one I want you to know is how to create educational materials from web content including web pages and youtube videos i'll give you here the example of a youtube video i'll go to youtube and i have this video from crash course called introduction to biology and as you can see here this icon is for brisk so i want to create a presentation from this video I'll just go here to Brisk icon. I click on it and click on create and then choose what you want to create. I want a presentation. So I click on presentation and then you can customize here a few things if you want. For instance, you can change the language of your presentation. You can also change the grade, which grade you want your presentation to be addressed to. You can select standards that you want to align your presentation too and many more once done you click on brisket and as you can see here the presentation is being generated in real time and now here is the final result so we have a presentation here with how many slides we have 11 slides everything is generated automatically using brisk teaching it's a beautiful presentation it's all based on the content of the video and the beautiful thing is you can click on any element in the slides and change it you can delete reorder it or readjust whatever element you want in the slides the same thing for text here just click on text and change it customize the content as you want and once you're done you can then download or share it with your students now the second thing i want to show you is how to generate a quiz from a youtube video so we're going to use the same video here of crash course and we're going again to click on the icon the brisk icon right here click on it and this will be going through the same thing like before we'll create we'll click on create and instead of presentation we will click on quiz again you can customize here the settings to your liking for instance you can again change the grade uh, change the question types you can use multiple choice short answer or long answer you can also choose how many questions you want to include in your in your quiz and the language then when you're done customizing the settings click on next and then choose whether you want your quiz to be generated in a new new google document or a new google form for me i will just choose here the new google document just keep in mind that in order for brisk to generate these quizzes and educational materials it needs permission from you to let it access your google drive apps for me i have already granted it access so i'll go ahead and click on brisket so as you can see here the quiz is being generated in real time so we'll just give it a few more seconds till it completes the process of generating the questions voila the final result is this one here so we have 10 questions they are all multiple choice questions because i've chosen the question types in the previous step i chosen multiple choice so as you can see in this box here there are a few things to do 
For instance, if you want to translate the quiz that is generated to you, you can click on here and choose the language. And if you want to include other question types, for instance, short response or long response types, click on them here. If you want to add an answer key or add more questions, you can all you can do all from this place here. You can also make the quiz shorter or make it longer or make it difficult or less difficult. So Brisk provides you with all the tools you need to create engaging and interactive quizzes from online data and online materials. The second interesting feature provided by Brisk Teaching is called Inspect Writing and it allows you to monitor how students have written their, uh, for instance, essays or any other written assignments. So I have an, a, a sample essay here to demonstrate to you how this feature works. So I'll go to the essay, uh, it's in Google Docs. By the way, it should be in, in Google Docs for brisk teaching to, uh, to work. So I have here a sample essay. Uh, the, first are, the first paragraph I have written myself and the rest, the, the other paragraphs, I pasted them here so that we can see how brisk inspect writing feature works so once i have the student essay i just go here to the brisk teaching icon i click on it and then click on inspect writing give it a few seconds and immediately you'll be you'll be able to see how many edits the student has made uh, how how long it took them to write the assignment and of course the date the assignment was submitted so for this for this essay that i have here it's it includes one page and remember i told you i pasted the paragraphs here so it says there is one page so then there is 174 edits and it took me two minutes to write the whole essay so here you can click to play back all the edits uh, a student made to their essay and also there is a magnifier uh, button right here when you click on it you will be able to detect whether the content in the essay was generated using ai or not so we'll have a of the result here so using this inspect writing you will be able to see how students have developed their ideas when writing the essay you can also in case they pasted some things into their essays you can open discussions with them about citing their sources you can also check whether they have used ai to generate ideas in their essay so it's really a very helpful feature to help you grade your students written assignments the third important feature provided by brisk teaching is about giving feedback on students work and let's see how it works let's imagine this is a student essay that was submitted to me for grading again i click on the brisk icon down here and then I choose give feedback and as you can see there are four types of feedback that brisk teaching can help you generate there is the targeted feedback there is the glow and grow next steps and rubric criteria and you can see here there is a short explanation of what each of these feedback types is all about let me choose for the sake of this uh, tutorial let's choose the targeted feedback type click on targeted and here you can either specify the focus of your feedback or you can simply click on brisket and list, let brisk generate the feedback itself also before you generate the feedback you can also change the uh, language of the feedback for instance if this is written by a student whose first language is not english you can still generate feedback in the student's language while the essay is in a different language and you can also select standards to align your feedback to or you can upload the rubric if you have one so that your feedback is aligned to the uh, criteria in your rubric and then once done with customizing the settings click on brisket and brisket will quickly generate a custom 
feedback to include in your student's essay. Let's see how it looks. So you see here the final results. You see the feedback here on the right hand side. This is the feedback Prisk generated for me. You can go through the feedback, further customize it. You can add your own voice and personalization. And only once you're satisfied with the feedback, you can click on comment to add your feedback. That's a great thing about the Prisk Teaching Feedback Tool. You can only post feedback that you approve. If you don't approve a feedback, you can always cancel it here by clicking on this button, Cancel. Once you post the feedback, students will see that you have posted the feedback. They will not know that Brisk generated this feedback. But I do recommend that you do not post feedback uh, verbatim. You should always go through it, customize it, and personalize it according to the learning needs of your students. Another feature I like in Brisk teaching is called change levels, which allows you to change the reading levels of any digital material online. And here is how it works. I have here an article from National Geographic on the Human Evolution 101 and I want to adjust the reading level of this article to the reading level of my students. First thing is I click on the Presk icon here then I click on change level and immediately you will be able to see which reading level this article is. It's eighth grade re reading level and then you can use here the reading levels to change it. For instance, if I'm teaching fifth grade, I'll choose fifth grade and then it, you can also click to change the language so that you generate a, the article in a different language. I'll keep it here in English and then I click on change reading level then wait a few seconds so this is the final result so when you click on change reading level brisk teaching automatically opens the new version of the article in a new Google document and this is the version for a fifth grade reading level and there is here the link to the original article. Boost Activities is another interesting feature provided by Brisk Teaching, which allows you to convert any online resource into an interactive learning experience for students. You can use it to make lessons come alive and to increase students' understanding. Let me show you how it works. Let's take this document as an example. For instance, I want to create uh, interactive learning experiences uh, based on the content of the of this of this document using brisks all i can do is click on the brisk icon down here and then choose boost student activity and you will be presented with different types of activities there is the engage activities these are all activities to engage students there is, there is another tab called Assess. These are activities to assess students' understanding. There's the Pulse, Check, and the Exit Ticket. For instance, if I click on Exit Ticket, I will be able to generate an Exit Ticket activity about this document. Click on Brisket, and Brisk Teaching will generate the activity. The same thing uh, applies to the other types of activities I talked about for the engagement activities, the tutor, the hook, the character chat, the brainstorm, inquiry, debate, and real world math. Click on any type of activity and then click on brisket and it will quickly generate an interactive uh, learning activity based on the content of the digital document you are working on. This feature is really helpful and it can save you a lot of time uh, preparing uh, your teaching tasks. So I hope you find this video tutorial helpful and don't forget to check out educatorstechnology.com for more edtech tools and resources. Thanks for watching.